Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon and welcome back to Microsoft Dogs. Today's tour, the first dogs. Let's get started. Welcome, welcome. No, no, you're not disturbing me, child. I was just looking at this book my grandson, the merchant, brought me from Rome. Precious things, books. Not a lot of them in this part of Mesopotamia, let me tell you. This one's written by a Roman fella. What? What's it about? Well, click my picture up in the corner and have a look for yourself. Pretty amazing stuff, really. Wild animals from all around the known world. Hmm. I'll admit this one isn't very wild. There's a whole pack of them sleeping right over there. Dogs like this have been around these parts since before King Nebuchadnezzar dreamed up the hanging gardens of Babylon. Still, you can see a kind of family resemblance to jackals. You never saw a jackal? Well, wait, I'll, I'll show you a picture. There's one in here somewhere. Here it is, bottom right. What I like about jackals is they mate for life. Yes, indeed. Fourteen or fifteen years, a jackal couple might be together. Not like dogs that just flit from one mate to the next. Or some humans, for that matter. That red thing? Well, let me see. The book says it's a, a fox. Solitary hunter. Defends its territory from other foxes. Huh. Looks like a dog, but acts like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> These fellas remind me of a bunch of barbarians dividing up the loot after sacking a village. No, child. Those aren't dogs. They're wolves. What? What's that you say? A wolf drooling on your shoulder? Nonsense. That's just my mastiff, Caesar. He's all bark and no bite. That's probably why those Roman legionnaires left him behind. You won't see wolves around here, but this book says there are great packs of them to the north and west. My grandson's seen them, though. As a merchant, you know, he travels a lot. He says there are two easy ways to tell a dog from a wolf. You can look at the teeth. Not even Caesar here has choppers to match the ones on a wolf. Or if you can get close enough, you can count the toes. Wolves don't have dew claws like dogs. What I say is if you're close enough to be looking at its teeth or counting its toes, you better hope it's a dog and not a wolf you're looking at. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I weren't so old, I'd make my grandson take me with him the next time he travels to Gaul. I'd give anything to see wolves. I heard they're enormous and smart, too. What's that? Have I ever heard of men who change into wolves? Well, yes. Of course, I've heard the stories. But then I've also heard that Helena Troy's father was a swan. <laughs> you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Well, that's true. It was Zeus in the form of a swan. Besides, if I had to choose between a wolf man or a pack of these African wild dogs, I think I'd take my chances with the wolf. <laughs> Listen to what the book says about these beasts. There are more males than females in a pack, and only one pair does all the breeding for the whole group. Oh, now here's a singing dog. Imagine, child. Looks a lot like the wild dogs that live around here, doesn't it? You know, I've heard tell this African dog sings too. Sounds just like women mourners at a funeral, they say. Oh, hush, Caesar. There's nothing out there but a couple of those wretched pariahs. Pass me that rock, would you, child? Hey, hey, you! Get away now! We 
hate them around here. But not everybody feels that way. I've heard that in parts of India, they don't dare harm one of them because the souls of the dead inhabit the dogs that eat their corpses. <laughs> hmm. Oh, don't look so worried. Dogs like those only go after dead people. And heavy sleepers, of course. <laughs> the real problem with wild dogs is that they get after your livestock, kill the sheep and the newborn cattle. That's one reason we keep tame dogs by us, to guard our flocks and drive the wild ones away. Not that this bunch is doing much. <laughs> hey, you dogs, wake up! <laughs> Well, child, I, I think I'd better just go and check up on the sheep. We've some new lambs, and I'd hate for those skulkers out there to get them. If you'd like to keep looking through my book on your own, click the contents button. Just try not to get fingerprints on the papyrus. But if you'd like another tour, click my picture. And that would be all for today. I'm Brian Cordragon signing out. Stay straight.